Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask Engine. Today we have some interesting news coming from the folks at Nikigera, creators of Akitsu. Akitsu is an amazing animation and rigging tool and we've covered this a couple of times in the channel. For those who like to see that, links to this is going to be in the description. And the news today is Akitsu, it's no longer part of Nikigera but has been handed over to the folks at GameSop. GameSop is a video game school based in Lyon, France. And the whole idea here is to help Akitsu become a tool that most and many people within and outside France can work with. Now there's a couple of good news that comes with this amidst all of the difficulties that the folks at Nikigera faced sometime in 2021. The thing here is Akitsu is a tool that needs to develop and also needs to be in the hands of so many people and I think for some reason it just makes sense to actually let it fly. Now something that the folks at Nikigera are mentioning with the brand new owners of Akitsu is that Akitsu would become a perpetually free tool very soon. Now the perpetual free tool would be for both schools and students and at the same time for indie and studios. Now this is a very very interesting thing but then since the last time the blog post was written there has not been any significant updates to that particular promise. Although there is still conversations about how Akitsu would become even way better over the time as the development and also the roadmap for Akitsu will be followed by the folks at GameSoft. And of course, for those who haven't gotten this or seen this or actually work with it, Akitsu is very, very easy. Now, if you go ahead and get Akitsu or download it, you would notice that opening the user interface looks pretty simple. And this is basically how it works. And how you bring in characters is by simply clicking and dragging and dropping right here. And in this case, we're looking at the Mixamo character, which is the running animation. So FBX characters are one of the most likely characters that you can bring in. And how you get to work with it is super easy. Taking a look at the user interface, you notice that we have the painter, which is for, you know, painting weight. We have the rig atella, we have the skin atella, the blend shapes, the transform tools. You also have the picker, which you can use to pick several parts as the way Akitsu actually works is if you're thinking about a beating, you don't need to touch any joints. You just need to select certain parts of the model and you can abate and also transform if you would like to do that. And if you're also thinking about playing with several things like scaling, you have different scale units and you can simply hover around here to scale or actually translate any part of your model. So depending on what you're trying to do, this actually helps you get that happening. Right here is where you get to find the trees, the properties, and you might be thinking, you know, is this all about it for the user interface? No, the user interface gets a bit interesting because if you click on this button, you can switch over to a quad view. And if you click on this button again, you can switch over to a given view. And depending on the kind of views you're looking for, you can see them. For the shading, you have your shading right here, which can go from wireframe to shaded to flat all the way to lighting and all of these are available for you. If you also like to see some decorators, which deals with the joints, of course you can. So you can see some of the joints right here, see the joint points. And if you like to see the orientation of your joint pivot, you can also turn those on and off from here. So this is a very, very cool. And most of you guys who haven't actually come to see Akitsu before might be asking, Okay, so how does the animation thing actually work? So how the animation thing works is literally simple and, and easy. So if you click on this button, you can switch over to animation. And right now, because we actually made a change to the model, you can see it's trying to preserve that position of that model. But if we don't want to have that, we want to have what we made earlier, we can simply click on return to the previous reference pose. And we have this right here. Pressing the space bar will bring up the graph editor. And within your viewport, you can, of course, go around it and preview or take a look at your graph editor. And you know, navigation with this is just about your mouse because if you click on the left mouse button, you can update and on the middle mouse button, you can pan. And of course with the right mouse button, you can zoom in and zoom out. So if you go through and press the playback button, you can see this playing back directly within your viewport. And from here, you can definitely make changes to whatever you want. So depending on the kind of thing that you're going for, Akitsu just makes it work. So for those who are thinking about, you know, exploring this very interesting tool and also seeing some of the things that they can do with it, of course, you can simply go over to the channel. I'm going to put that link in the description where you can see that. And you can also play with several tools that Akitsu also has to offer. It's very interesting to see that Akitsu is no longer going to be part of the folks at Nikigera, but then it will be a very good tool to see available for everyone to play with. And for those who like to take a look at some of the features that are available with Akitsu, you might want to consider checking out these other link, which I'm going to put in the description. I can show you all of the things you can do with it from the spinner to the direct interaction with your model, all the way to the automatic rigging feature that exists. There's a light rig. There's also the dynamic IK and FK hybrid solver some skinning tools, 
the retargeting tools which can allow you to retarget directly in Akitsu. There's a smart cycle maker as well. And we've also talked about some of this in the video, which I'm also going to link in the description. Right here is also a very good update, which can help you update your skin mesh. So you don't necessarily need to read multiple meshes that has exactly the same topology or probably have the same height as you can just simply update or should I say retarget the mesh with a pre-existing mesh as well. And for those who are thinking about meshes that they might want to start off with, there's a couple of free characters that the folks at Nikigara actually made available for Akitsu. So these are like test models that you can pick up and you can explore with all of this. So this is more like it. For those who like to take a look at this, maybe you like to check it out. You want to test out this. You want to see or maybe read up on some of the amazing things that you can do with Akitsu as this is very animation and rig driven. Links to this is going to be in the description. So do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.